Hey guys, Loco Citra here, back with another Dead Side video. Today we're going to look at weapon damage and how much damage they each deal. Also, what sort of damage prevention vests and helmets do for you. Now, some things to think about before looking at the numbers. This was player on player testing. Now, the figures are based on direct hits at close range. Hits that clipped or glanced dealt less damage for what we saw, roughly half of a direct hit. There was no damage reduction for up to 100 meter range, but shotgun damage decreased with range. Now, unprotected headshots are an instant kill, obviously, with all weapons apart from both knives. So we'll start off with pistol damage. Now, in the table you can see we've got the weapons on the left. Um, the first four options are unprotected uh, hits, for example, for the head, the leg, the arm, and the torso. Uh, next up, we've got the vests, then finally the helmets. Looking at the table, the top three guns, the IZH-43S, TTK and the Berta M9 are all dealt the same amount of damage no matter what we used. However, the C-1911 dealt more damage, being a high caliber weapon, but strangely enough, it dealt the same amount of damage to helmets. So that was quite interesting. And remember, the first three vests only provide inventory space, not protection. Now onto the SMGs. Uh, pretty standard figures here, uh, as you would expect. Again, the UMR 45, being a 45 caliber weapon, deals a little bit more damage. Again, no extra damage for helmet hits. The interesting thing here is the P900, slightly high caliber, but dealing the same damage as the MR5 and the Scorp. There are three types of assault rifles in Deadside. The AKSU, AK Mod, and the AR4. The AKSU dealing less damage than the AK mod and the AR4. The curious thing here is the AK mod dealing exactly the same damage numbers as the AR4, even though it's got a higher caliber bullet. On to the shotties. There are five shotties in Deadside the IZH 43S, the IZH 43, the M133, the MS 590, and the N4. N4 being a full auto shotty. MS-590 a military grade pump action, M133 pump action, IZH-43 being a long barrel shotgun, and then the sawn off shotty being the IZH-43S. All the numbers are the same, the only thing we notice is the pellet damage dropped off with range. Some of the shotties had more range than the others, being the IZH-43 being the long barrel, and the MS-590 and the N4. One thing you'll notice here is every shot was a kill shot at close range, apart from a center mass direct hit on the police the assault and the heavy assault vests, but headshots with any helmet were a kill. Four rifles to choose from in Deadside, the S85, the Mosin K, the Mosin and the VSD. The only difference between the Mosin K and the Mosin is you can't scope a Mosin K. Damage numbers are the same, S85 is a four shot rifle, you can't scope it and the numbers are a little bit less than the other rifles. Finally, we have the grenades and melee weapons. Two grenades in dead side, the R5 and the F10. Please note though, the R5 doesn't seem to be working at the moment. I had three grenades thrown at my feet and uh, none of them did any damage whatsoever. There's two axes, a fire axe and a normal axe. Uh, both do exactly the same damage and two knives. Note on the right hand side, the uh, drastic drop off in damage for helmet hits with the tactical assault and heavy assault with the axes only dealing six damage compared with at least 48 for any vest hit and 100% kill rate for the first three vests and obviously instant death without any protection. Grenade damage is based on close proximity. This obviously would decrease with distance. Also explosions inside buildings seem to deal extra damage than in the open. Some final observations. Assault and heavy assault vests provide the same damage reduction, however heavy assault covers more on the body including shoulders, crotch and buttocks. Both generally provide more damage resistance than the police vest. Vests such as Hunter, Field and Tactical with item slots provide no extra protection. Backpacks also do not provide any extra protection at all. And remember, the R5 grenades don't work so don't buy them. A big shout out goes to Starlord for helping with this testing and by shooting me multiple times in the face, head, chest, arms and legs and also blowing me up. Thanks for watching my video guys. Uh, if you liked it or thought it was helpful, please hit that like button. If you have anything to add or have any questions, please comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, please remember to subscribe and remember to hit that bell so you know when my videos go live. And lastly, happy gaming.